Yes, somebody, somebody had asked me about uh, setting this brake light switch uh, that actually works as a torque converter, torque, torque converter clutch relay as well as a brake light switch. It's kind of like a two-way switch, but this is on the end of the. This is kind of what the brake light switch looks like kind of look similar to what mine look like not exactly but it doesn't really matter whichever one you buy that fits a 1984 Corvette will work you plug you plug the torque converter clutch wiring into one and then the brake lights go to the other side and this is referenced this is referenced in this factory service manual and this supplement, electrical troubleshooting supplement shop manual about five times and in every single one of them it, do, it never really goes into any great detail on how to how to actually adjust the brake, <laughs> this, this switch but I'll do the best I can, I'm gonna do the best I can to try to help somebody out here one of the in the factory service manual 8814 88, one of the most important things it says about this is adjust the stop light switch by bringing the brake pedal to normal rest position the electrical contact should be made when the brake pedal is now depressed 0.53 inches about a half an inch from its fully released position but what you have when you take your hush cover off or your hush plate courtesy cover or whatever it is up, up above where the brake your brake pedal is you'll see you can't miss you can't miss the uh, the brake switch you'll have this switch bracket right here and then you'll have this little clip the actual brake switch looks like it's threaded and threads into this clip right here but it does not it does not thread in there it just pushes in and you can hear it when you push when you push the brake switch into this clip you can hear it clicking and according to the factory service manual what you're supposed to do is after you did after you disconnect all your wiring and everything you take your brake switch you put it into your clip and then you push this brake switch as far you de first of all you depress your brake pedal as far as you can and then you take your brake switch you put it into your clip and you push the brake switch all the way as far as you can into your retainer clip you'll hear it clicking and it'll bottom out at the shoulder right here that's one of the reasons that you you depress the brake pedal and you'll have this uh, this actuator br bracket right here that's attached to your brake pedal that'll that'll move that out of the way then you can take your brake switch and push it as far as you can down into this retainer clip you'll hear it clicking like you'll think this is supposed to be screwed in but it isn't it's it's just it's just pushed in you can hear it clicking so once it bottoms out on the shoulder, then you take your you, you literally take your hand like this, and you grab hold of the brake pedal, and you pull the brake pedal as far back as it'll go until this this actuator uh, bracket right here will bottom out on your your uh, stop latch this bracket right here that holds in in your retainer clip and your brake. You pull it, you take your hand and you pull the brake pedal back, it'll bottom out right here. That, according to the factory service manual, is what sets this brake switch. Now this, now this bracket, this actuator bracket right here has this, i got to go back over here. Now that actuator bracket should be pulled back far enough that, that this plunger is pushed back 
and the circuit to the brake lights is now an open circuit so the brake lights are not working and that's now that if if that's the case and your brake lights are not working then your torque converter clutch should be engaged so the idea is when so now when you you push this brake pedal you should only have to push the brake pedal according to what the factory service manual says a half an inch which you can see when you look at the brake switch if you if you depress the brake pedal just a half an inch that's going to release the plunger that's going to close the contacts to the brake lights complete the circuit the brake lights should come on and the tor torque converter clutch should be now disengaged and the problem is if you don't do that the car will stall so it's, it's the way it's wired without going into the wiring diagram which is another thing that they didn't go a lot into a lot of detail about it's kind of like a clutch on a manual transmission if you pop the clutch it'll just stall out similar to that anyway but, But here's another section that's in the actual uh, factory service uh, shop manual where it talk, talks about the brake light switch where it says pull the brake pedal fully rearward towards, towards the seat against the pedal stop until the audible click sounds can no longer be heard. The switch and or valve assembly will be moved in the tubular clip providing proper adjustment and that you know that makes it sound real simple but actually it's not quite that simple you have to be sure once you get all of this once you get all of this set and you 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 grab hold of your brake pedal and you pull it back you have to either have somebody helping you so that when you just barely touch your brake pedal a half an inch push it down a half an inch according to the factory service manual your brake lights come on and if if the brake lights come on as soon as you when you put the brake pedal down a half an inch then your torque converter if the switch is operating properly the torque converter clutch should should disengage because again it's it's one switch it's just a two-way switch. Plunger, plunger and gate closes the circuit to the brake lights. Plunger open closes the circuit to the torque converter clutch. But it's it's just a very small little plunger, so you can see where a half an inch is all you're going to need to open one circuit and close the other circuit. And then, and then that's that's the idea behind this little switch that the factory service manual doesn't like again doesn't go into a lot of detail about.